it's M the Beginner Crafter. Welcome to another floss tube video and I've got uh, three projects again that I worked on and the first one is Miranda and uh, with Miranda I did a finish well I think actually I finished the row here and then made another row and started yet another row. Uh, there are some confetti stitches left uh, with some threads that hmm, I don't yet want to do for just a few stitches. Um, so they're gonna be empty for now. Uh, but look how little I have left until the end of the page. Like, there's uh, three full rows. Well, not full anymore because I've done almost one square of one of the rows. And then the last row is like eight stitches um, long or tall, I guess you could say. So this is what I have. And uh, I'm already a full page over my goal for the year. So that's fantastic. Um, I don't think I will finish this page during this year. Uh, I am going to try to do as much as I can because I'm in the rhythm for it. And also, to be honest, um, when I show it to you, uh, there is not much to tell about it because it's the sky <laughs> and it's kind of boring to be just talking about the sky again I mean I know there are different shades of the sky and the clouds and it's darker and it's less dark or brighter like here but still it's just the sky and um, I would really like to sort of either do it quietly and not show it um, for a longer while so that um, I do a lot of progress and I can say, ta-da, look at the change. But on the other hand, on the other hand, this is the whole video point or the, the, the point of the channel is to make me uh, consistent and work on the crafts for like... Consistently. That's the word I'm looking for. Consistently. Just make slow progress, but consistent progress and it will get you somewhere. And uh, like this year I wasn't really too ambitious about my projects. I even uh, decided to not focus on uh, the School of Magical Stitches, which I thought would help me... Uh, do a given amount of stitches but then I realized um, it wasn't really working for me because of having to take the photos and post them on Facebook it just really uh, was more annoying than fun and kind of took more time than the actual stitching so I decided to not continue with uh, that group and I thought this would maybe make me stitch less but uh, it hasn't. When I have the time, I will stitch more. When I don't have the time, I will stitch less. Uh, and Miranda is a good example of that, because like I said, the, the goal for the year was uh, about half of the third page. Uh, and now I'm on... I'm over the half of page four, which is absolutely great. Um, so that's a uh, huge progress for me. And I hope uh, I will continue working on it uh, this year. Well, there's not much left. Uh, like five weeks and a half, maybe. So uh, we'll see how that goes. It would be nice to finish a page, but if I don't, it's not really a big problem. Uh, I do think and I plan to 
go to the next uh, row of pages uh, next year. So that's um, that's the goal for the future. Uh, and I don't need to um, fulfill it now. But if I do, yeah, that would be great. <laughs> Can't say it wouldn't. So that's Miranda. Then I have the Virgo. And with the Virgo, I've basically finished the page. Uh, there is, There are some stitches here left to do, but because they will continue down there, I decided I don't want to make too much of a mess with the hanging threads, with parked threads, so I left it for a future. And uh, actually, I looked back at uh, the first video of this year that I made with the goals for this year, and actually, for Miranda, the goal was to finish this row here. So again, I'm over the goal already. Um, yes, those pages aren't so filled, like completely filled, because you can see even from here. There are some empty stitches. Uh, so uh, there is still some, some completion to be made. Uh, but most is done and those um, stitches, those empty stitches will get filled once I use uh, the, collect the correct color somewhere here. So again I'm already over uh, the goal. Uh, I want to start the new page this year, get somewhere nice this year as well, but I don't think I will finish the page this year. It would be nice but again um, I'm already over the goal, so that's uh, not like a necessity uh, to to finish the page. But yeah, I'm getting closer because look, like below it, there's not much fabric left because this won't be a full page anymore. This will be just a few like grids uh, of 10 stitches, so... Wah! I'm really seeing uh, the end of it and oh wow it would be so great to finish it next year but um, we'll see how I go how I do this year but uh, this is something I can really uh, see um, finishing pretty soon so that's great because that's my most important uh, whip for now and mm, this is one of one of the first I want to finish I mean obviously the black work a stitch along and this will be finished first because this is for this year and it's so much less stitching than here um i won't show you black work this week because um the month hasn't finished so i haven't stitched anything um so it's laying and waiting for its turn but the very go ta lots of shade of blue so um it was really nice to work with this page because I love blue and especially where there, when there are so many shades of blue. Uh, the next page should be similar, although there will be some... Or they, there could be some other shades as well because um, here in the top corner there could be the silhouette. And uh, possibly uh, the lettering might start. Because somewhere here it's supposed to say a Virgo. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, I am excited to work on that uh, as well. And the last piece that I have is a Mini Marvelous Garden. I did decide to work on that because I bought um, quite a lot of floss uh, that I was missing here. There is still some missing here because my uh, local thread shops and I do mean shops because I went to a few uh, in the area don't carry the newer DMC floss numbers so there are still some stitches that I can't really do because I don't have the floss I will have to order it online um, but for it to be financial financially reasonable I'll have to wait for a bigger order uh, of a new floss 
So here I'm uh, almost finishing the page because this is the edge of the page. So that's fantastic. I'm really, really close. Uh, you can see the body of the peacock uh, already and there are some different colors happening as well. Here it's still bluish, although you can see some green in it, but here you've got browns. So something interesting is happening here. Uh, and... I'm kind of on the fence on where to go next. Normally I would go here and then here um, because that's how my brain works, sort of top, left to right, then a bit down, left to right, and that's how it works. But I have so much floss down here in a mess that Mm, <laughs> I really, really, really uh, want to start going this way. Although some of the floss is from the squares from the first page that is still not yet finished. So maybe they will be out and then it won't look so terrible. Uh, but for now, uh, I'm really on the verge because, yeah, my brain wants to go this way. This is how I normally work. But on the other hand, this mess and then triple the mess because... This will probably happen in all of the pages. Uh, I think there are three or three and a bit pages in uh, like a row. So that might drive me crazy at some point. So we'll see. Um, and I had a look again at the first video of my of the new of this year. Uh, it's not New Year anymore. Um, and actually, the only goals that I really said for my whips were for Miranda and for the Virgo. And for Mini Marvelous Garden, I didn't say anything. And neither I did for the Hogwarts Crest that I showed you last time. Uh, but I could see that I cut <laughs> what I was talking about. Um, when I was describing the whips, that I might have accidentally cut the goal for the year. So the reality is I don't remember if I set a goal for those whips or not. Um, but I don't think my goal was to finish the page in the Peacock in the Mini Marvelous Garden because um, that would be, I guess, a little too ambitious for me. Um, at the beginning of the year, I wouldn't think I would manage to do it. For the Hogwarts Crest, um, I think it was to finish page two and start page three, um, which I did. So again, I'm over the goal already. So I think that's it. I don't re remember any other goals. Uh, I do have black work and of course uh, the stitch along, I'll finish it. Um, somewhere around the beginning of the new year because I think the summary of December will already be posted in January. So I'll stitch it in the first days of January and it will be done. Um, and then I'll begin the new black work for the new year and... Oh yeah, I think the goal was to start um, the 2020 stitch along. But at the moment I don't want to do that because... Uh, yeah, I want to work as much as I can on the whips I already have. Not to make so much mess in the flat and focus maybe the rest of the energy on the new flat and the old flat too. It's kind of in a mess after I work um, for, a lo for a long time on whips, so I need time to get everything back in order. So I think the whips that I have, so Mini Marvelous Garden, 
the Virgo, Miranda, and uh, the Hogwarts crest, and Blackwork. Those whips are going to stay like this for this year. I mean, I do have a whip that I started uh, maybe even last year, but uh, I can't really show it on YouTube because it turned out to be um, a knockoff, uh, a real design, so I don't really want to show that. So uh, I guess I'll focus on those five whips and finish the year like this. If you've liked the video please give it a thumbs up, it's always appreciated. Leave a comment down below if you have something to say um, about what I do. And if you want to see the progress of my stitching or maybe some other projects that I make like crocheting or other crafts, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you next time. Bye!